Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. It has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar! When he loses, he's going to lose big! How, how can you not- how, how can you not know the great Salmonella? I'll make the last show's Still Samurai Mine. Read the film credits. R really? You're the. You're. These? Salmonella? And now, back to objecting to people. It's Vin Dilly here again, and it, it has been about, say, four months since I recorded an episode of Phoenix Wright. Yes, the last episode you saw being uploaded to about two, three days ago. I'm, th I'm guessing okay, exact details, but I recorded it four months ago back in May, and it's September 28th now. So... Yay! Procrastination! But I'm back. I'm finally caught up. Going moving forward. Edit my own videos. However sloppy they may be. Demos are still an issue. Pop might be an issue, but... Uh, just... Let's just get to it, shall we? Uh, last time we uh, were we were doing investigation, my little friend Cody was captured. Uh, I can't remember my vo I can't remember all my voices. So except for Maya, the best voice of all. I can do her voice still, kind of. Uh, anyways, let's get to it. Turnabout Samurai, Day 3, Trial. Wait a minute, hmm. October 19th. 9.42 a.m. Sir Court, event lobby number one. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? <laughs> oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really? <coughs> it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh. She looks even happier. Phoenix. Phoenix, your client is practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel so particularly close to him. 
This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something over something overlooked. We have to find. We, we have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Ten a.m. District Court. Room number four. <clears throat> it's me, the judge again. The court is now in session for the trials of Mr. Will Powers. I remembered my judge's voice. I believe. Or generic old man voice. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court, Governor. Yesterday, we learned that th there was other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manila to the stand. Or that director. Will the witness state his name? Oh, Get out with the witness state his name and profession? How rude, how rude can you, how rude can you get? You don't, you, you don't know me. I'm the director. I make the still samurai noob Rolf. Meep. Salmonella, sal sal Salmonella, I'm a director. Television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? <coughs> yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very, very well. Please testify about to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Paris is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. Is it with any time period on the pressure? Too much pressure? Too much pressure! The day of the murder. I was in uh, <laughs> big voice. Yeah, I, I was in the studio from around nine, from around nine that morning. During the morning, I was doing um an action s s scene one through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. 
I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting till around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That about it. That's about it. Hmm. The time, the, <clears throat> the time of Mr. Hammer's death was two thirty. According to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, begin your cross examination. Yes, yes, Your Honor. I was at the studio from around nine that morning. Is that when you always come to work? Oh, oh, oh no, I come in all hours. That is, that is the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still. F F W I W. I have no idea what that means. I was pretty busy for world information world. What, what? I was pretty. I was pretty busy all that day. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing um an action scene run through. In the employee area? That, that's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Mistri Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh, oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing low. She was, she, she was chewing on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Mm, nope. Nope. Just us four. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on so long? Um, um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run through. See, see. All right, that's the limp. Which of course led me to messing my lunch, ROFS. Rolling on the floor. Starving? <laughs> wow. I hear... I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. What, what exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steaks. The assistant cooks them up. Yum. Come to think of it, there was a plate of bones on it in the employee area. Governor, everyone else mean the witness did not eat with them, Governor? Governor? But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah. Does doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Hmm, at all? It's a little big. It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manila. Hmm? Huh, huh, what, 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 what do you mean? When I went to that trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two kinds, there were two plates on the table. The same kind of plates as in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? I'm pointing at you. Whoops! N n n uh, uh, um, uh, good call. I was embarrassed, so I, I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. A T-bone steak, you mean. Y yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So, when exactly did you eat it? We took one break. We took one break during the meeting. I looked it down then. T-bone steak. A mental image. I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press him on that one a bit more. We're going to meet until around 4 o'clock. We're going to meet until 4 o'clock. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget? Get this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manila, those scripts of yours aren't appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one else, no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break. Er, uh, well, yeah, yeah, not the one. Hmm. What is he so sweating about? So much about? I wonder. If only I, I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Wait a second. Mr. Manila, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court you, you ate that T-bone steak during your break? 
I'm pointing at you again. Whoops. Roll full. Well. And... Mr. Manila, what's this all about? Well, 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 yeah, I guess we did take a, a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. Eric. <laughs> uh oh. Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah. F for we, we took it for a break. Run for laughing. But it was, it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not have time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. Lol. That's only about that's just time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. A tea will take it 15 minutes. Yeah. If you don't chew it. Perhaps. Or a small. Hmm. I don't think that it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Yeah, full. We took a break. Rolf. Rolf. What time exactly did you take? This break. Hmm. I say it's around from two thirty or so to two forty-five. Two thirty. It's the time of the death. So he could have killed, gone to the studio one, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Hmm. It's only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12? No idea what that means. What were you doing those 15 minutes? Here my table and steak. What else? There were two plates on the trailer table. All right. All right. The other one was Divas. Sorry, D. Vance West plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To 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 eat a table steak in fifteen minutes. That's quite a feat, Governor. Governor. Not enough time for someone. Not enough time for someone to say, Can a murder? Enough time to say, Can a murder in Studio One? Lil. Why is that? Have we had enough of this? Put most line of questioning. Yeah, Anna. The testimony to this point has made certain uh, made one fa certainly painfully clear. 
The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder, Gebna. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Certainly you aren't suggesting that one of the people in the studio trailer was the Studio One. Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you, do you claim that someone from the trailer went to Studio One? No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree, that was impossible for anyone in that trailer to go to the studio in that time. Ha 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 ha! I thought, I thought you might be treading loose and thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the media, the break in the trailer right at the time of death. However, the path from there to seeing the crime was blocked. The fallen Mr. Monkeyhead barred the way. At two at two fifteen, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot head. Ergo, Governor, the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mr. Monkey's severed head. Um, it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edward has a point. And somehow I have no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. Uh, it's over. Very well. Very well. The court's opinion on the case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no re re relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the steel samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it on that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers. Guilty. Yana, the prosecution is pleased to acknowledge that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edworth? 
Gavda, my witness is the very per moment. My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewed the victim. Order. I will have order. Of a turkey sandwich, because I'm stealing from Nico B's jokes. It's like, can't think of anything but turkey sandwiches now. Damn you, Nico B, for f filling my head with turkeys and this judge. Oh, God. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Eleven oh four AM District Court Defendant Lobby Number One hmm, Meep Meep What do we do now, Mia? Everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia Don't tell me you're giving up. If, I, if you give up, what hope do I have? Meep. Don't get me wrong. I've never given up a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in cross-examination. The people in the trailer... Could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Uh, uh, um. Uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to, uh, it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the still samurai hero that children everywhere after all. I. You. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. October 19th, 11.15 a.m. It's our court. Number four. Okay, Cody voice, Cody voice. The court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of the tender of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause necessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Yeah, Anna, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Uh, uh oh, right. 
Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Gavna, the witness, state his name and grade in school. Meep. Witness. What? What? Because you're all grown up. Is it? What? 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 It's because you're all grown up. Does it mean you get to push me around? Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you! Hey, it's you, the nice lady! Cody Hawkins, I'm in second grade. I get the phone, this is gonna be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth. Please remember you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in Cody. He's in trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, or er, you were the little series on the day of the incident, Governor? You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What pops you want me to tell you and guns with the beat over there? Just just a very, very long day. Inci incidentally Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he won't testify. He can't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait. You so you're saying you had to bargain with terms with the kid, and you lost? Hey. I just, got this new, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me everywhere I go. Phoenix. I, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You, you better make a note of that in the court record. Cody's camera was added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. When is the count? I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearse at least once. I found the, my, I found a map on the way to the internet, on the internet, and the, I went to the studio that day. I went to the, I went to the woods. At the path that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I, I was going to the studio. I got kind of lost on the, on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a still samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, it's still Samurai. I took him down. Pal! If I had the cam my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell ya. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. Defense may begin his cross-examination. And be gentle. You remember, remember you're speaking to, talking to a child. Mm. 
This kid's tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. I want to see this Still Samurai rehearsal just once. We really like this little samurai, huh? Of course I do! Tipped every show! I got all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the music park? Of course, duh! My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. I thought the internet uh, was due that day. Was that the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple of times. I never meant to get there on rehearsal day. There's a cute lady always yelling. Right, right, please continue. Chill, pop some game to it. I have to talk with you coming off all the time, jeez. I went to the woods off the path that only wouldn't catch me. Off the path? Y yeah, you know how the studios from the valley over there? You go up the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow, let's go for the studio. Did nothing unusual happen in the way, way of the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him. But his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? Got kind of lost in the way for, for about 30 minutes. Get lost in the woods? Yeah, I can't figure out what's, what's, what's where I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. Guess what happens next? I came out of the studio, there's a still samurai! The steel samurai? Yeah, he was damn to your gate. Like he was t thinking about something before going in. Then he opened the gate and went inside. I see. What then? Until he rocked, and from my eyes came out the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person kind of tall, skinny. Sure was a guy. And you know, kind of far away. Hmm, being awfully vague. Hmm, meep. Of course, the still samurai took him down. Pow, baff, boom, pop. What happened to the, what happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, the like guy didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. Guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. I can't remember me. That would have been time for a shot, I tell ya. Wait a minute. Your camera. Objection. Cody, what you said seems a little, well, strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, 
Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You, you understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word of you? Uh oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What's a digital camera contraption contra contra you're talking about? It, um, it's a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? Oh, see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright. How cruel you are to tear out the poor child, Sil Governor. I don't care, the child or prosecuting attorney. No one's to lie in court. What do you mean, a poor prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. What? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that, pal? You got a problem with that? You did have a camera? And you used this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify the court about what you were so busy watching. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. I was too, I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The still samurai, he goes to the, to the bad guy. Wham! Then, the bad guy stopped moving. So strong, the still samurai rules! Hmm. Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. You're right, you're from the organization. Yeah, yeah, I had my camera with me. So why didn't you use it? You get into that, relax and listen. Um, because it was too busy watching the real thing. I was going to accidentally get my eyes off of it. You watching the Steel Samurai? Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. Did you turn away not even once? No. And tell us exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to that. So I got my guy, wham! Attacked him first? Yeah. This person was this bad guy. Told you. He was a person. How's he dressed? I don't remember. I'm too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see what happens next. And the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? Why do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because it's still having my problem to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? Samurai kick it, samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. Something like that. So being vague about this. What, don't need that Lux Pops? I play this. What just happens? Press him! Press the little brat. Cody. What, what? Something's bothering me. Before you said you could take the eyes off the action. 
yeah. So what? You missed the poor part. What's the meaning of this? This is state we saw it quite clearly. You know as well as I do, he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer you a samurai slap? My point is this. Cody, you may have seen something to still samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order. Order. Mr. Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, that's the thing. Phoenix! I'd be on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. To write your answer. We have assured that this young boy has great found the still samurai. Why don't he watch the climax of the fight? Evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why can you look away from the fight? Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? When it stayed, he recently received this camera. You are some aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with his operations. I'm aware of that too. Oh! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture! Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? Got pretty picking on a little kid. Pressing, not picking. Great job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could have just stand there watching his hero. I'm not taking a picture. Right. Because the. Cause frosted flakes are good. Frosted flakes good. They're good. Great. Where did that come from? I don't know. I just want to say it, at least once. Cody, there's only one reason you you would have looked away from the fight. That was because you wanted to take a picture. I just received your camera. You weren't used to using it yet. So it's the climax of the fight, correct? Hmm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix. I bet you anything you're tying more than that. I'll satisfy again. All right. Me, I mean business. Your Honor. Twins would like to request it's Cody Heck Hawkins. That's why once more. Very well. Cody? Can you tell us about your camera? And about what you didn't take a picture of? Why you didn't pay for that fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. Yeah, you're right, Pops. I'm right, just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I let my camera take a, take a picture. The lens went open in time, so I missed it. I thought it happened, yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Not sure. 
Secret. Uh, it seems like I've chased them anyways. Yeah, you're right, pups. Pops? You pops up back here, geezer. G geezer? I'm Mr. Edworth. <laughs> hey, about grown-ups, you're also self conscious Get off of the cake gloves. Testify, witness. Testify. Yipes! This is the evil villain. See, you did all the See, this he began the fight. Yeah. Notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... That's still summarized me a little bit strange. Moving. Strangely? Let the camera take a picture. I can take a picture. I can't see buttons, I can figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. Well, this was open in time, so I missed it. Holy. Well, it's open. What did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and still samurai. That's all happened. Yep. That's all. Yeah, I told you, didn't I? Take a. I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have. I would have. I, I would have once I got that lens open. Did I take a picture? Not even one. Now he doesn't think I'll take a picture. Is there something there I can use? Cody. What's up, Cody Hawkins? I don't think it happened that day. You took a picture! You did! I'm pointing at you! Hey! Bullseye. How did you know? I see it through your li all your lies, Cody Hawkins. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great! Like Frosted Flakes! Yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Don't you think change your mind to reflect this, Cody? I like a few shots, but it was too late. So I erased them. Cody. What? Man, every time you take Cody, you follow something bad. I just want to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh, oh, right. What else you tell me then? In every live performance, the pictures with the Steel Samurai lens the final blow. I get them all. I never miss it. one. A perfect collection. Cody? Did you, did you get a picture of the still samurai thing toys over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe you just erase it. Can you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright? What exactly is this album? It's called a Path to Glory. Like I said, the pictures of the Still Samurai all taken by Cody Hawkins. <coughs> <coughs> oh, cough, cough. Ugh, yeah. Ugh. 
Oh, it's this game is the favorite collection of every battle. It's the Samurai is one. Or, or Sue. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all those pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Is it right? Do you get explanation? The Steel Samurai just defeated his adversary. I surely would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait. No way. Phoenix? I think I finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them, tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what's going on here. Why was there no picture of the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy has a rate of photos he took that day? Well, Samurai didn't win. Got only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. I like how he deleted those pictures. You mean the still you mean the still samurai lost? Well clearly I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, that guy deleted still samurai. No way, no! It's impossible! Samurai would never lose this. Never loses anyone! Ever! Your honor. The witness has revealed everything with his words. But the reason why he lied and told us to take a picture. The reason he erased the precious photos. Cody was inconceivable, the samurai could have been defeated. However, could he witness the impossible? How the still samurai lose? It's a minute when he saw he would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the still samurai won. He couldn't handle he couldn't handle the truth! Order. I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I. I. <laughs> Cody? That day you saw the Seal Samurai was a fight, right? Okay, okay. You're right. The still samurai fell down. They didn't move. Ah! Order, order, order. I just done your point, trying to pull, right? The still samurai was the murderer. Not the victim, Governor. Yet, according to your witness testimony, the still samurai was when it fell. It's all right. What's going on? Apparently, you have only a serious error. An error? What's all about? Samurai was the victim. You said what, what, hap what happened is quite s simple. In the fight, the Soul Samurai fell to the ground and laid still. In other words, the Soul Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. What you see? Jack Hamper was the Soul Samurai. Order! 
Order, order, order. So still samurai in this photograph? Saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? Mr. Jack Hammer? I saw me talk to the love voice. I saw me talk to the higher pitch voice. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the accident sequence through that morning. That's the opposite view about Will Power's foot injury. But, but, but wait! Had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. Remember Mr. Olbeck did his testimony. I arrived at the murder. I, I, I arrived at the day of the murder. I ra I can't uh, own voice. Hi, hi, hi. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at, at, at 1 p.m. Did I see the poor old hammer? Nope. He already got into the studio before I got back to the guard station. Was there a Jack Hammer at the left the employee area after lunch? However, no one saw him going to the 301. Well, you can't remember my voices. Nor was he there, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. He stuck in this dressing room and stole the still samurai costume. Why would the, why would the victim do such a thing? I. Don't know. I get it. Huh? I thought the still samurai was moving strange. So two persons had the suit. Pops! Huh, me? What? Actually, there's one piece of data I saved. Data? Hey, follow my digital camera. What? So, it's quickly. No way, man. I can look at me like that. No! Sniff. Here's this is it. Looking at this is a little hard to say. I'm afraid it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This, this is the size of evidence. I'm sorry, this like, I'm sorry, this is like the proof that we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix! Yeah, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Y uh, Your Honor, may I see that photo one more once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. The declaring the decisive in custody of the fact that we, as we know him in this photo. 
Put the consistency in the photo. I think it's here. That's as usual. Because I'm not confident about it at all. Oh, damn it. Ah. Let's please, Your Honor. Up here, maybe? Your Honor, look at that. Apparently I can use the backwards too, I can use the forward too. I see a gate. May I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh yes, well it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edward sees I'm getting at. But, but, that's impossible! Mm, what, what's this all about? Please explain so I may be shocked along with the rest of the court. I just see your guide, I just see your guide, guide map. Bio is found here in Studio One. Everyone, we see the. Or we see it in the picture taken at the time of the murder. It does not say the one on top of that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's a story of the crime. This is where the murder took place. Here, it's video two. I see. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that murder took place at Studio 2. Half of the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, this victim went to the studio to before that time. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonel's testimony? Let me remind the court. He said that no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in reality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only one that accessed the, the scene of the crime. Studio Two! As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. And on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There's a brick in the meeting that you want from the time of death. During that break, Mr. Sal Vanilla and Ms. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Order, order. Defense makes the following claims. Seen the crime in Studio 2? The, 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 the person that security guard Miss Old Bag saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. 
And for some reason, it's still, still Samurai costume. He went to Studio 2. This is madness. The camera's the victim. The victim! Why would he still sit in my costume? Just that he did to cover up the details of his own murder? Uh, well, no, of course not. Hmm. Are you some proof? Proof this victim. This is your camera stole the costume. I have proof. You, you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, I'm feeling much less confident. I think I'm right, though. This is my proof that the camera stole the, the costume. This is it. An empty medicine? An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. This, the same table Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. They were read sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Mr. Powers spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That ball does raise some suspicion, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Oh no, I do. We'll read. We'll tear it. I'll check the bottle for fingerprints. I think it's true that Mr. Hammer's fingerprints show up in this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well. Here we'll take a present of the bottle. And the bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend the proceeding on the current trial for a day. Cody Hawkins tested. Cody Hawkins' testimony has real new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The still samurai seen by Mr. Oldbag and the f may have been the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime is not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trail did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answers to the following questions. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for, for me by tomorrow. It's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you, you, you need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. Shall be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well, court is adjourned. February 19th, it's 47 p.m. It's our court. It's been lobby number one. Phew. That was a close one. We were saved by an a by a hair. That's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so confident. Ha! Huh, maybe I have to take up a career in acting. I was ready 
That's pretty, now I see a th that three, about three times back there. Me too. You dead? Oh, look, of course, we're, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. No, Mr. Powers. We have to go make our final investigation. I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. Sniff. To be continued. Yeah. Whew. That was a long one, but I made it through it. Was intact. Oh, but yay! More Phoenix right. Now that I'm recording again, I feel better. So yeah, join us next time for more Phoenix Rye as we go to one more time to the studio and investigate. Remember, when you just do it. It will turn out okay. So never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I have three catchphrases now. <laughs> it's, a, it's an awful.